Welcome to the Pre-Snap Podcast presented by LineStar, your top NFL player prop bets for Thursday Night Football Week 3. The contest is the New England Patriots traveling to the Meadowlands to take on the New York Jets in a division matchup here. Alongside Tyler Weeman, I'm Shannon Somerville. We've got some great prop picks for you, plus our touchdown calls of the game. And then at the end, we will give our picks on who we think is winning this contest and if we're taking the spread or money line or how we're kind of betting it. So for this contest, we've got a pretty good showdown here. The Patriots have pretty much dominated this series, although the Jets won the last contest that they faced each other last season. But now this is Aaron Rodgers. He's finally back healthy. The offense is starting to kind of look like they've got something clicking on offense. They started to look a little better in their win over the Tennessee Titans over week two. Meanwhile, the both teams coming into this contest one and one. The Patriots just lost a close one to the Seattle Seahawks. That was in overtime. They lost to Geno Smith and company. But this one is always kind of a battle right now. The line is six and a half in favor of the Jets. But Tyler, I think this is a contest that might come down to the wire. A lot of these division contests, I feel like this might be too big of a spread. We'll get to that at the end, though. But what are your initial thoughts on this matchup? Well, I mean, at least it's going likely going to be a close game. Like you said, probably comes the wire. I mean, that's essentially what the Patriots are trying to do right now is they're trying to keep teams close or games close into the fourth, yeah. fourth quarter and have a chance. But uh, neither team is that exciting to watch right now. I do think <laughs> the Jets have better days ahead of them. The Patriots at least look forward to uh, May you know, starting later this season, likely. But uh, it's been a little bit of struggle for yeah. both teams right now. Thank goodness for sports betting, because, you know, this could be an ugly yes. watch by the looks of it. Yes. Now, the you were talking about the Patriots and kind of how they like to control time of possession. Right now, they are fifth in time of possession, where the Jets rank 29th in that category. But you can bet the Patriots are going to try to slow things down, control the clock, and... You know, just see if they can win it at the end, keep it competitive, keep Aaron Rodgers kind of off the field in this contest. Now, a couple concerning things for the Jets. I'm a Jets fan, and one of my biggest concerns heading into this contest is the defensive line and a lot of defensive holes, especially after losing Jermaine Johnson, who is the heartbeat of the defense. He's out for the season with the torn Achilles that he suffered in that game against Tennessee. Players were crying, very upset. It was an emotional scene afterwards. C.J. Mosley was also uh, a D not. DNP in practice did not play with a toe injury, so he might likely be out on Thursday. We are recording this on Tuesday, so should note that's the latest reports that we have. Also, Michael Carter was limited and DJ Reed was limited. So on the offensive or the defensive side of things, maybe some limitations with that defense, and um, that could be troublesome, especially against Ramondre Stevenson, who seems to be cooking that rushing game for the Patriots is something that they're going to lean on heavily, especially if they want to control time of possession. But we're going to get into all of that in our prop bets. They are available on Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Chalkboard, Parlay Play. If you don't have those apps, download them. Use the promo code LINESTAR so you can get a nice deposit match. Plus, you'll also get one free month of LINESTAR. Again, you got to use that promo code LINESTAR when you first download it. And if you could do us a huge favor right now, before we get into picks, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. Not only does it help us out in the good old YouTube algorithm department, but also helps you out because if we go three for three, one randomly selected commenter will win $100 and we will announce that on next Thursday's show. So make sure you get into the comments and drop any locks that you have and any leans that you guys have when you're looking at this matchup. If you guys have been handicapping, if you disagree with some of our picks, we want to hear from you in the comments. All right, all that out of the way, let's get into the picks. We're going to start off with Linesar's Props AI pick of the night. And that's going to be Ramondre Stevenson over on his receiving yards. Right now, the line is 14 and a half. That's just where we like it because Line Star's projection is 15.4, the consensus at 23. And I know he only has 15 reception or receiving yards through the first two games, but when you consider how other teams have played the Jets, Tony Pollard just had 40 receiving yards in week two. And Debo, who I know was a wide receiver, but you know the way that the 49ers employ him sometimes is running back like. He had 54 receiving yards back in week one. One. And given the fact that the Jets are dealing with so many injuries over the middle of the field, I think is going to be an area that the Patriots will likely target in this one. Tyler, what are your thoughts on the receiving yards line here for Ramondre Stevenson? 
Yeah, I I agree that this line is one that we should be targeting and that they're going to be using him a lot. I mean, he had five targets week two, he had three targets week one, and out of those matchups, this one probably even is a little bit better for dumping it off to the running back. So I like the spot for Ramondre. And Jacoby Brissett also, I noted this to you, but last year against the Jets, he actually faced them when he was with the Washington Commanders. Uh, Sam Howell ended up leaving the game. Jacoby Brissett comes in in the third quarter late and ends up throwing for 100 yards and a touchdown for the comeback win against the Jets. So he is somebody who knows how to distribute the ball against this Jets defense. He's done it before. So I think he could lean on his running back here to get him some yards over the middle. Uh, next up, Tyler and I will give our picks for the night. Tyler, where are you headed for your prop bet of Thursday Night Football? I'm going to go to the running back on the other side with uh, Brees Hall over 4.5 receptions. Line star projection has him at 5.4. He has 12 receptions through 5.4 or <laughs> through two games so far. He's averaging six per game, five and one, seven in the other. So he has hit 100% of the time so far. I also think that the Patriots are likely to try and take out Garrett Wilson. They have a very good young corner that is going to likely be all over him. And right now, the second option in this passing game is Brees Hall. I do think that may change the, throughout the year. But as of now, Brees is getting a lot of work. And I think he's going to keep getting that work uh, this week. Yeah, he seems to have full confidence of Aaron Rodgers in terms of that passing game. He mm -hmm. saw it unfold in the game against the Titans. In fact, I think uh, it was Brees Hall who told him, hey, I'm on the fly for this one, and he hit him with it. So uh, he definitely trusts Brees Hall and like that over there on four and a half receptions for Brees Lightning. For my pick, I'm a Jets fan, but I am in full fade mode, so I'm going to the Patriots side, and we're looking at their tight end, who's turning out to be one of their more solid offensive playmakers. We're talking about Hunter Henry and over on 32 and a half receiving yards. Now, the consensus projection is over. Kittle had 40 receiving yards in week one against the Jets. Now, Chigokonkwu only had 16, but I really like the line here for Henry, and I think he should hit the over. This is a guy who had 109 receiving yards last week against the Seattle Seahawks defense. He only had 18 week one, but I expect them to try to target the kind of the middle of the field in this one with some of their um, passing plays and that Jets defense again no depth at the defensive line right now they're already thin there so I think this could be an area that the Patriots really target and Hunter Henry has been the most reliable offensive weapon for the Patriots thus far and I expect them to lean on him heavily in this matchup so Hunter Henry's got my pick for over 32 and a half receiving yards Again, you can find those on Underdog Fantasy Sleeper Chalkboard Parlay Play. But remember, when you download those apps, you got to use that promo code LINESTAR so you can get that nice deposit match plus one free month of LINESTAR. So once again, our picks, Ramondre Stevenson over 14 and a half receiving yards, Brees Hall over four and a half receptions, and Hunter Henry over 32 and a half receiving yards. We're going to put them on a ticket. And if we hit our picks, one randomly selected commenter will win $100. So make sure to drop your comment below. Now let's get to... Touchdown calls of the game. Tyler, where are you headed for an anytime touchdown in this week three Thursday night football contest? I'm going to go with Ramondre Stevenson plus 135 to get in the end zone. Look, I think the Patriots' path to victory is to bulldoze their way to the end zone. Week one, Mason had 153 total yards and a touchdown. Week two, Tony Pollard, 102 total yards and a touchdown. I think week three is going to be the Stevenson show. And yeah. with all of that, the Jets even lost more players. So I think it is even more of a beneficial spot for Ramondre than it was for either Mason or Pollard. Yeah, it could be a big Ramondre Stevenson game for sure. The Jets have given up a lot of yards in the rushing game, even with those defensive stars. And now they've got injuries. I like the spot here for Ramondre Stevenson. For my anytime touchdown, though, I'm going for some bang for my buck here with Mike Williams and the Jets, plus 480 for an anytime touchdown. Now, I know he has just one reception 
one target, 19-yard reception. It was a crucial catch against the Tennessee Titans. He went up over the top of the defender. It was a beautiful catch and a crucial one. But he's coming back from a knee injury, so they've been kind of easing him into the season. But Salah said he's going to try to get him on the field more. And with crucial catches like he made against the Titans, I expect Aaron Rodgers to lean on him, especially in the red zone. And he had 18% snaps week one. That went up to 65% in week two. So I expect him to be much more involved in this offense. And we'll see that on Thursday night against the Patriots. Hopefully we'll see Mike Williams in the end zone because that's a nice little pay out there at plus 480. I like that Mike Williams touchdown. I don't know if you saw that catch that he made. It was pretty incredible and and, uh, only a ball that Aaron Rodgers could throw. That was pretty impressive. Probably, the (laughs) you know, every Jets game that I watch because I'm a Jets fan, it's like most of the game I'm just sitting there cringing and like, oh, I can't watch. But that was one that I was like, oh, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good throw there. But, uh, Those are our touchdown calls. If you've got one that you like, make sure to drop it in the comments. Now it's time for Tyler and I to choose basically just the game winner in this one. Right now, the Jets are favored by six and a half. So how are you playing this one, Tyler? I think six and a half. I agree. You said at the top of the show that it's probably too big of a spread. And I agree. I think the Patriots are just a well-coached team that are going to Mm -hmm. be able to keep the game close. If I was betting aside, I'd probably take the points and go with Patriots. Yeah, I think six and a half is too much. Patriots know how to control the clock. Jacoby Brissett is a guy that doesn't make a lot of mistakes, doesn't turn the ball over, which is exactly what the Patriots like. They want to keep this one close. I think that they do. I think the Jets come away with the win. However, I like the Patriots to cover here. So I'm with you on that one. Hopefully the Jets can get a win, though. Something they don't often do against the Patriots. So, uh, But I'm looking forward to seeing how both teams show up. I think this is going to be kind of a defensive onslaught, the over-under 38 and a half. And I got to tell you, Tyler, I think it's going to go to the under in this one. That's my first read on this one. It's been under the last four times these two squads have faced off. Um, so that's kind of my read on it. I don't know if you're playing the game total here, but I'm going with the under. Any thoughts on that one? Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't be playing it, but I probably agree. I don't think right now either offense is really good enough to get it over that, uh, that number. I think the jets maybe later in the season will be a proficient offense, but right now, I mean, uh, 18, 16 type game or something like that sounds pretty good to me. All right, so those are our picks. If you agree with us, let us know. If you disagree with us, too, you can write it in the comments as well. Let us know your thoughts on this Thursday night contest. Should be a good one. Make sure to check out Tyler's DFS breakdown if you guys are rolling in some DFS contests in this one. That'll be out on our Line Star YouTube channel. We've got tons of picks, not only in NFL, but MLB as well. So make sure you're also tuning into our MLB picks. Good luck in all of your bets for Thursday night football. Enjoy the game. We'll see you guys later.